Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. So, yeah, apparently someone's in our freaking tower. Probably not anymore, but... That must have been what that freaking alarm was for. To pretty much tell him, like, hey, he's out of his tower. Time to go in. Our, pro our crap is probably going to be just completely ransacked. No. That's... Not... Wait... Taped Walkman? I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Hmm. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. What... the fuck? Holy shit. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So our radios are fucking useless. It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. What the fuck is happening, guys? What the... What? Oh my god, day 78. There's something in the background. So your little bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? <laughs> it isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. Wait. I have a light in this thing. What the crap? I have never once flipped that freaking switch. Anyways, alright, let's go, boys. Got time to go find out what the hell's in K452. Love Jack Fire. Thankfully, it looks like it hasn't been getting any bigger. And it also looks like, thankfully, that freaking fire in, um... Wapiti Station didn't spread. Unless it's just happens to be literally in the same direction as the Flapjack Fire, but you know, whatever. Okay, so how the hell do we get to the cave? Um, we need to head north. Uh, that's north. North. We need to head nor a little northeast and then head north. Alright, let's go. Boys, this is crazy. What the hell is going on? Is that a tree? Did a tree fell. Okay. Oh, that's a generator. I was like, what the hell is that noise? Bear tooth. Okay. Yeah, let's go. It's this way. This is fucking crazy, boys. This is fucking crazy. This is absolutely freaking crazy. Some lunatic is recording our conversations. And it sounds like is subtly threatening to blackmail us. What's crazy though is I don't understand why. Like why? What? Who the hell was running Wapiti Station? Why? What, what the hell was going on? Wait a minute. Do we know what today's date is? 
Do we ha do we even know what the date is? Because remember, he was only supposed to be there till like till like October fifteenth. He was only there for a few months. So I wonder if the scientist was even supposed to be there. Hey, you. Huh. You didn't actually make that call, right? To to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course not. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Okay, the fate, the oh, okay, my bad. It's right directly in front of me. I was gonna say the cave is just a little bit further. It's directly in front of me. I'm just literally staring at it. Okay. This is so creepy. That literally just closed behind me. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Oh, Delilah, you're fucking. Send someone to the cave, please. Can't get any damn reception. You're fucking joking. I was literally in the middle of saying that this feels like a freaking horror game. Long Jesus, detail. this is a big cave. Loose rocks. Use Pulaski. Shafts of light. Squeeze through. Okay. That's cool, boys. Oh, man. I just got, like, a freaking bad feeling about this. This is so fucking creepy. Oh man, just imagine if I fell. Okay. It's freezing in here. Is anybody down there? A shoe? That is a shoe. What the hell? What's going on? Okay, there we go. What the hell? That was weird. Oh, this is not creepy at all. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. But no shit. Are you, are you insane? Okay, where, where, where the hell are we then? Look at here. What the fuck is this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Animal nest? Five degrees north. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he 
honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. No shit. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. The Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Yeah. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was gonna get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. Backbreak travel plan Mark IV to get boards... Rope, rocks, tools. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Our rope and our camera. Yeah, no kidding, sure is. Be, be keeping that as science homework. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously <laughs> feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he must have been a pretty smart kid. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Oh, wow. That's really cool. The old pillow. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Aha. All right, boys. I figured it out. I had to move that stupid sign. Okay. Was there some wyverns? There's some great dork nice. contraband here. You found his pocket protector. I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Longsword, throwing dagger, battle axe, short sword. Studded leather. Nice. Oh, he was a ranger. Well then, note to ranger. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. He left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. 
Your Ranger, how my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? Oh, uh, Nebraska. I'll give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them. But I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian, P.S. The reward will be good. Aw, oh, poor kid. Okay, postcard. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Aw. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad finished uh, in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Oh, it looks like home in Nebraska, but there are mountains and woods when you go far. Um, I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. A little rusty, but hopefully they're still usable. All right. So now I can do this. And I can repel down. All righty, boys. All right, boys. So we made it out of there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it right here for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been kind of interesting. We learned quite a... Um, why, why am I just like gradually gliding? That's weird. Anyways, we uh, learned quite a bit about uh, Brian um, and Ned, I think. Um, it's still a little weird, but... Yeah, what the hell is going on? I, I don't know. This is, this is weird. I feel like we're about to learn some more information, though. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and bye.